Hey there marketers, uh, in today's tip I want to answer a common question that we get which is how on earth do you guys survive as a couple in business? Uh, we hear this a lot and uh, if you are in a like spouse type relationship, I don't just mean like business partners but actually having your um, you know family life in the business so you're together full time. Francisca and I being a husband and wife team and uh, business partners uh, across the board we get this question a lot how on earth do we survive how do we not you know kind of bash heads every single day well a little bit of that happens as it's to be expected across the board with everyone but the reality is it works extremely well for us we've been in business very intimately in business together for nine years now um, and uh, and it works very well people ask us all the time how on earth do you guys cope with this how do you not just go home and you know you're still talking about business at, at midnight and things well first of all we love what we do which definitely helps um, so we're passionate about it. We might be out in the surf talking business, but there are four things I have boiled it down to over the years after being asked this question about 5,000 times. Uh, I've got pretty good at the response. First um, thing is no ego. Uh, what I see tend to happen a lot in businesses that, that we help if there's a couple kind of relationship, um, people can tend to want their solution to be the one that's actioned. So if you have an idea, Maybe looking at your partner and going, okay, is their idea better? Maybe it is. Um, get myself out of the way. So oftentimes it's, it's kind of a bit comes to clash because people think their ideas are better or want things their way. So remove the ego. Point number two is different roles in the business. So if you're trying to do the same thing as each other, well, of course, you're going to be walking on each other's, you know, stepping on each other's toes. So have different roles. So you're doing different things. Of course, you um, like we love to bounce ideas off one another. So you can still bounce ideas, but have very different roles. So you, it's like you're running your own business in that area of the business. And, um, you know, your, your wife or a husband might be running it's like they're running a separate business in a different area of your business. Of course, we'll swear you complement uh, each other. Number three is recognizing that you're going to wear your work hat sometimes. So have a conversation up front before you even get too far into the business or if you're already well and truly into business together um, in a spouse type relationship. Uh, have the conversation where sometimes you're going to have your work hat on, so you're going to be focused. So and recognizing if, like, if I had a massive pile of things to do, and if Francisca came to me and said, "Hey, do you want to go out to dinner tonight?" and I'm like, "Oh, really short with her." It's understanding that, hey, look, sometimes I'm going to have the work hat on and sometimes you are too. So if I come to you, it's not that I'm not interested in dinner um, or so on it's, or being short with you personally. It's just that I've got a lot to do here. You know, and the same goes if she's buried in work to understand if I come, that to some extent, the way I can look at this as well is if you come along going, hey, how about we do this and you're distracting someone from what they were doing, you're also trying almost in some way saying what I'm doing right now is more important than what you're doing. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's a good one that I like to keep in mind. And then always keeping in mind is the fourth point is you are always working towards the same goal. So if something's going here and I have to be quiet to let you, know, let you work over there um, or you know respect each other's space or so on or zip what I've got something important to talk about, we're working towards the same goal. So if it's an idea that your idea might be better than mine or mine's better than yours, you know, no ego, different roles, sometimes you've got the work hat on and recognizing that across the board, everything we're doing is to achieve the same goal. So let's, um, you know, let's make this thing thrive. Let's make it work. Let's, let's work together. How can I help you in certain ways and so on? So they're the four, four tips uh, that I wanted to share today. If you are uh, in a kind of couple, uh, couples in business, I guess, type situation. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. If you've got any tips as well around this, feel free to share, comment, uh, like or share with any of your friends who, who you know would benefit from this video as well. If you see a couple in business that are knocking heads, hopefully they can take something from this and uh, to improve their, the way things roll for them. Thanks and bye for now.